scheduling for visa appointment in nigeria is like i don't even know how to explain hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time on my channel please like share and subscribe so in today's video we're going to be talking about how i got my visa and how i got admission into the united states so let's get right into the video so the first step you need to do is to get your international passport that is very important even if you're going to canada you're going to uk you need your international passport without that you can get your international passport that can be valid for five years you can get the one that can be valid for 10 years it's depending on what you want so while you're waiting on your international Next step passport, is to know your major are you going for science major are you going for art this is very important it will help you to know what schools you're applying for what schools suits you another best. thing you also like to figure out is what states in the u.s are you going to like us is very big <laughs> do you get so you have to like don't just apply randomly i want so it's where you have family members or friends or like extended family this is because it's going to help you to familiarize yourself with the state it's going to help you in terms of trying to make things easier for you but if you don't have any family in the u.s that's fine you can pick whatever state you're going to. so the next thing you have to do is to start looking for the schools in that particular i applied to texas i applied to universities in texas because i know that like i want to be in texas i want to come so you can to choose to apply to two or more schools i would advise you apply to more than one school because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket for me i applied to two schools in texas i applied to texas tech and i also applied to university of san antonio have in mind that these schools they come with like different requirements they come with different application fee so like you have to look into all of these things so the next step is to search for the requirements for your course some schools will need you to provide ilts or TOEFL or gre meanwhile some other schools will waive it for my school texas tech university they waived my ielts although i wrote ielts when i say ielts i mean ielts sorry i usually call it ielts i don't know why so i wrote my ielts because i just felt like i i just felt like i needed to get all my documents ready so when the school is asking for it i'm providing it so you can also choose to do that but if not you can choose to look for schools that will waive um ielts or gre depending on your course remember depending on your course you need to know what you're coming here to say like they requested for my um certificate they requested for um bank statements they also requested for my statement of purpose meanwhile for san antonio they just requested for they requested for the same thing but the rate of for application fee was different so for your statement of purpose your statement of purpose is an essay you're writing to your school you're telling them about yourself you're telling them why you chose this particular major you're telling them what drives you to choose a particular major so the next step you need to do is to you know just wait for admission get the feedback from them after two weeks or three weeks but for mine i had i got my feedback like after a month so like it's really depending on your school so now once they get back to you some schools will ask provide you your to... um sponsorship letter you have to provide your bank statement please make sure your bank statement is up to date don't give them a bank statement that it's like you're imagine you're applying for this year and you're giving them a bank statement that is for like last year <laughs> it has to be up to date and it has to be the bank statement of your sponsor so after providing that for my school texas tech i had to also wait for them to get back to me now what i'm waiting for is what they call i20 i20 is a document where you have all your school information in it you have your 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 um advisor's name you have your the years that you're meant to spend in the u.s based on the cost you picked you have your um tuition the estimated tuition for a year so that like, you have so many other information in your i20 that's like the document you can use to come to the us i would say that is even much more important than your visa that's like when you get to the us now you've gotten your i20 the next step is to schedule your visa appointment before you schedule your visa appointment i would advise you go on your school's website and apply for a scholarship look for a scholarship that for international students most schools here do have scholarship for international students this will increase your chances of getting next a visa. step is to schedule for your visa appointment 
scheduling for himself appointment in nigeria is, is something else they might give you a date that is like really far don't be scared once you get a date that you're not comfortable with you can apply for emergency dates and then they'll give you emergency i'm going to be making a detailed video on visa processing like specifically on visa processing what to take what not to take what to say and what not to say exactly but right now i'm going to be brushing through it i know your visa um your visa interview is going to be based on like very specific questions it's going to be on what to um what course are you studying what are you coming to the us to do and they're going to ask you do you plan on coming back and when you're coming back what do you plan on doing now people have different experiences so this is remember this is based on my own experience but you just want to know if you know what you're doing the interview won't last five minutes you guys like it will even last up to four minutes it's basically two to three minutes max and by the end of this interview if you if they give you one white paper just know that you're traveling <laughs> just so that you're leaving the country immediately you get your visa i advise that you start checking for your flights don't go and die and forget that you have to book flights because like that's one of the major things that like delayed me because i was really excited and i forgot that i had to book flights you can go on googleflight.com to check for different flights they have um different airlines at different rates and different um stops so you can know the one that works best then you. after you book your flight tickets just know that you can rest now all you need to do is to start shopping please make sure you write like you have a shopping list don't just go and be buying things anyhow because you most likely regret what you bought if you're going to come to the u.s fall or spring or summer whenever you're coming you have to know what the weather is like if it's fall fall is mostly hot if it's um spring spring is mostly cold it just depends on the state you're going to to be honest so know the state you're going to know what the weather is like ask people around so they can know exactly what you're packing and on the main day on the day of traveling please have all your documents it is for you to check them every day three days before you travel check is everything complete <laughs> second day check is everything complete a day before traveling just keep checking because you don't want to forget anything you don't want to not have any document when they ask you for on the your document. arrival to the u.s you're going to be asked for some document you're going to be asked for international passport you're going to be asked for your i-20 that i-20 is very you're going to be asked other simple questions too and once you're done with that they be here. you are in u.s already this is the end of the video uh, if you have any questions please just tap it down in the comment section i'm ready to and willing to answer your question if you have any comments if you have anything to add to what i've said your opinion is accepted so please just put it down in the comment section and this is going to be the end of my video thank you so much guys please always like comment and subscribe Mwah.